Hi folks, today I would like to explore a new feature that we have just yeah, developed and released and uh, it's part of our uh, cross lab uh, work where we added and we've kept this so the idea is that you can without hosting uh, without any kind of installation or without any login you can share and access any kind of hardware and share this with any kind of your students uh, via the internet only by using browser-based techniques so if you go to the uh, website addresslabs.github.io there you can explore probably the different classrooms that you can use as a base uh, so if you're basic web serial if you want to uh, experiment or give access to your terminal there are some other kinds of you run some AVR simulations uh, like Linux programming in different languages uh, but I want to start with a Arduino view uh, and this is a kind of uh, it uses web serial but it uses also Arduino view a library uh, developed by Carl Fessel which you can basically use to host the entire website that controls your Arduino or whatever hardware uh, on your embedded device thus when you have compiled your uh, installation or experiment you don't have to install anything you just have to attach it to your browser so if I click into it there's some kind of documentation uh, what is used for the video I'm at the moment generating and there's in most of those labs uh, is this uh, button deploy lab so if you click onto this it will immediately load the configuration from this uh, YAML file or JSON file you can actually also inspect it we have got a couple of modules uh, that consist of different this is a markdown module uh, with some uh, code attached to this there is this Arduino view module without any basic configuration there's a station stream module uh, which is responsible for sharing the video stream so you can either copy the link upload this Or you can directly also click on the uh, deploy lab button so what what happened uh, it opens this link uh, with this URL your browser basically parses the content and creates a new laboratory for you you can afterwards you can go to this classroom you can open it so there's not much to it at the moment so you can see how to share hardware some kind of configuration it has loaded all those uh, modules they have their own configuration some general settings some teacher settings if you want to we describe uh, some stuff more uh, you can basically also edit make changes uh, to this laboratory here and within your browser and then either download it as a yaml file uh, for later or as a json file and upload this uh, to your github repository as we did it so far now as it basically said we have to share a station this is actually uh, a browser with a yeah window with a different url not classroom but station but the same url which is actually unique and randomly generated if you open this it will open as you can see the camera module some definition and this uh, Arduino view module so and this will basically load everything that's here on the camera visible so but as at the moment there's nothing installed you could also go to this uh, if I reopen those classrooms again and go to the Arduino lab there are some basic examples which I'm going to another fruit example and an Arduino slider example which is basically a simple Arduino file experiment which uses the uh, library uh, by Carl Fessel Arduino view which uses those uh, frame iterator frame st stream and which allows you actually to create uh, a host in. like on a simple website HTML uh, short, uh, like in this example uh, on your Arduino and they communicate via uh, yeah, web serial so if I 
also prepared this one, the Arduino slider. If I run, compile and upload this at the moment. Okay, it seems to work, everything's fine. So I can go back to my classroom. Bautrate uh, rate is actually 9000. And then I can connect to my circuit playground. And what you will see, so nothing fancy actually. Oh, well, it's actually fancy in this case. And there's a little, uh, as you can see, an LED. Here, I can only increase it, but I can increase the light, as you can see. As you can see, the red one goes up, and I can switch those off. So, no light blinking anymore. So, where does this website come from? It's from the Arduino. And when we connect another one, that's a more fancy experiment that uses uh, some kind of yeah graph drawing, those um, sensors that are attached to it. Uh, you can control also the LEDs and the sound output and stuff like this. But you, but the idea is pretty simple. You can also it could be a, a mobile robot, it could be anything with a motor, it can be any experiment actually that talks uh, uh, yeah via the serial. Uh, by a serial port. So if I compile this one, so I put another experiment onto my uh, other food circuit. That's it. I now connect this. Again. And as you can see, we can do some temperate, uh, temperature measurements if we want to. But what is fancy actually about this, so the one who started, where is it? So this is my classroom. If I go back to Idris Labs, uh, you can see uh, this lab is loaded. If I open this, the station will appear. You can use this URL also. If I copy this to Firefox. As you can see, there's a third one. that appear. So I actually have now loaded the entire room. I can also connect to the station. Sound. I can switch it off. I don't can see anything at the moment, but we simply have to load this. we are on. So everything that I do in here, yeah, start the measurement will be also happen, uh, or will happen also uh, within the main station. So this, if you want to share this lab actually, so that your students can make uh, the same or experiment with anything that you have attached, uh, have attached to it, uh, you only have to share this URL. And how is it transferred? You use WebRTC at the background simply try to connect uh, and make the simple browser uh, to browser communication. So temperature measurement, I'm not that fancy, probably we can stop this if we want to. We can also inspect the data that we have collected. But what we actually want to do is probably do some noise experiments. As you can see, also the slider here has, cha has changed. We run our experiment. And we can also uh, do some sound output. And as you can see, you cannot hear it at the moment, but the Arduino actually generates some kind of sound or some noise uh, that the sensor also detects. So we can make the sound at different frequencies if we want to. Uh, switch it off. And that's it. Or if we want to, there's another third one, a third experiment uh, with the lights on. We start this one, probably there's some uh, light measurements uh, are going on. 
uh, we can change the color as you see the color also has changed up there increase the number of uh, it's barely visible but you can see that you can now turn some LEDs on and off this is used for some kind of I don't know plant experiments uh, where you increase the light and measure the temperature or the humidity uh, let's do some red color light in this case but that's basically uh, uh, the general idea so you can create the classroom with uh, address light it's open source uh, you can uh, create a new configuration based on different modules and if you're using one module so this one module that is uh, doing the camera uh, streaming there's another module that's uh, used for this markdown content and there's a third one now uh, which uses this uh, Arduino View, uh, so pretty new at the moment, and uh, so the idea is basically you can use any kind of old hardware device, laptop, and you can si simply attach your Arduino experiment to it, and it will directly connect uh, to the browser, and your experiment is ready to be shared. users connected and at the moment just one is patient and the other one and I and you can also if you want to do some kind of feature I can see at the moment wait a second I so there is quite a bug I have to change this so there is also something like a tag like this it on your site and say enter so this is basically if you just the idea is if you just place your laptop uh, your experiment somewhere and let your students access it at 24 7 via this generated uh, URL so they can also talk to each other and check out if they are what the other one is currently measuring uh, and doing. And last but not least, if I go to this main view, so now there is just one experiment at the moment uh, that I've created. You can either delete it, reopen it, or you can fork it. It generates a new URL go to the configuration uh, or the in your web with two uh, save this as you can see and change the order of the modules if you want to uh, change the configuration in any case uh, in any kind of publish simply there uh, this as a new uh, laboratory or experiment have fun